I'm Helen Yates, I'm the lead clinician on the MEDEX trial and I'm working with the National Perinatal Epidemiology Unit at the University of Oxford. The MINIDEX trial aims to establish whether giving a very low dose of dexamethasone to a preterm baby who is stuck on a ventilator would help that baby come off the ventilator. Postnatal steroids have been used since the 1970s to help get preterm babies who are stuck on ventilators extubated. They were initially used in higher doses and they seemed to be very effective. They got babies off the breathing machine and they even were shown to reduce the amount of BPD that these babies had going forwards. However, in 2001, a meta-analysis was done by Keith Farrington, which showed that babies who were exposed to postnatal steroids had a higher rate of cerebral palsy and neurodevelopmental impairment. And this led to a lot of concern about the use of postnatal steroids. Steroids are used very commonly in other parts of medicine, and they have a lot of side effects that are seen in older children and adults. And these are all dose related. In response to this, clinicians started to look at the dose of steroids that was given and trying to use as low a dose as possible, hoping that, like other steroid side effects, we'd see a dose-dependent response to reducing the medicine and would be able to keep the beneficial effects of the steroids on improving lung function without seeing the unwanted side effect of problems with brain development. Clinicians also started to look at targeting the steroids to the babies who most needed them, so those babies over a week of age who were showing signs of developing bronchopulmonary dysplasia and therefore would be the ones who saw the most benefit from any medicine that would reduce the effect of this. We don't really have any evidence to support this. We don't have any evidence that very low dose dexamethasone actually gets babies off ventilators and we don't have any evidence about it or its long term effects on bronchopulmonary dysplasia or neurodevelopmental impairment. This particular trial that we're doing at the minute is to establish that giving the very low dose dexamethasone will help babies in this position extubate. If this is successful, they will then be able to move forward and do a larger pragmatic trial to see what the effects are on neurological development. We're actually using time to extubation where the baby remains extubated for 24 hours as our primary outcome. Secondary outcomes will be collected at in two areas, one of which is during the administration of the IMP and for a short period afterwards, and the other one is a 36 week corrected or discharge home if sooner. During administration of the IMP, we'll be collecting information about the baby's ventilation and particularly what proportion are extubated on day seven, so we can incorporate it into a Cochrane meta analysis. We're also collecting safety information about the IMP. And we'd like to collect data about the experience that the baby's parents and family have during the trial. And this will be in the form of a booklet where parents will be able to record what contact and cuddles they're able to have with their baby and whether or not they're able to participate in their baby's cares. Obviously this is a voluntary uh, contribution on behalf of the family and they're not obligated to do this in any way. But if they are able to give us some insight into how they are able to interact with their baby and how the trial affects their ability to interact with their baby that would be really helpful for us. It's an important part of the treatment is how it affects the baby and their family. At 36 weeks corrected we'll be getting data about the baby's ongoing respiratory course and any further safety complications. At two sites we'll be taking some additional samples so we can see what effect the, the trial medication has on the cytokine levels that are produced by the babies. Cytokines are what we call markers of inflammation and if we can model how they change with administration of the drug we'll get an insight into the way that the drug works and this may allow us to provide further therapies in the future. So we're looking to randomise 94 babies from 11 centres over a period of 18 months. We'll need approximately one baby every two months in each centre to reach this target. Included babies need to be under 30 weeks of gestation and aged between 10 and 24 postnatal days. They need to be at high risk of developing BPD, they need to be ventilated in at least 30% inspired oxygen with a PEEP of at least 4 
and in the opinion of the treating team, unlikely to extubate within the next 48 hours. They need to be on caffeine therapy, and we need written informed consent from a mum aged over 16. We can't include babies who've had previous postnatal steroid treatment for respiratory disease, or who have no realistic prospect of survival. Babies with severe congenital anomalies and those who've had surgical abdominal procedures or PDA ligation also excluded. Babies who have a concurrent illness for which postnatal corticosteroids are contraindicated are excluded, as are those who are participating in another trial that precludes inclusion in the next.